Chapter 8, Thermal Insulation. Absence of glue between layers create microscopic air gaps. There are additional air channels between some layers allowing for improved thermal insulation. In this field, it has been so far assumed that the highest heat transfer coefficient or the U value that wood can achieve is 0.14. However, that's true for glue laminated wood. Unglued and mechanically linked walls of Dr. Thomas have achieved a result twice as efficient, a U-value of 0.078. As such, a 36-centimeter-thick Holes 100 wall would provide a similar insulation to a 75-centimeter-thick solid glue-laminated wooden wall or a 10-meter-thick reinforced concrete wall. Leaving out chemicals and toxins in the processing of Holes 100 surprisingly led to breaking the world record for thermal insulation for building materials. The results were so unbelievable that initially the Fraunhofer Institute in Stuttgart refused to issue a certificate. Over time, both the Fraunhofer and the Graz Technical University confirmed the results and issued the relevant certificates. The U-value does not tell us everything. However, it turns out to be a poor manipulation created to favor thermal insulation manufacturers. In a laboratory experiment at the University of Graz, three walls with identical heat transfer coefficients were compared. An internally insulated prefabricated wall made of gypsum and particle board, a brick wall with polystyrene insulation, and a 30-centimeter solid wood wall of holes 100. The test room was at room temperature without heating, and the outside temperature was minus 10 degrees centigrade. The test measured the time in which the internal wall would reach 0 degrees centigrade. It took two days for the prefab wall to get there. The insulated brick wall took 10 days. And the holes 100 solid wood wall? It took more than a month. It is hard to imagine, but the dense hard timber that you can crack your head against is nothing but transformed air. Trees draw carbon dioxide from the air, they return oxygen, and use carbon to build the most incredible structure that mankind knows as wood. It only utilizes water and a small amount of minerals from the earth for this purpose. It is a structure so complex that the inner surface of one cubic centimeter of wood consists of 150 to 200 square meters in surface area. Not only is this excellent structure the best natural heat insulator, but it also accumulates and stores heat well. In his earlier years, Dr. Toma had already built many of the world's most energy-efficient homes. But even more important, he wanted to prove that it was possible to create an absolutely energy-self-sufficient home without an external source of energy like photovoltaics. He accomplished this by using other ancient methods. Therefore, he decided to build a five-floor house in the Berner Oberland in the Matterhorn area of the Alps. It keeps an optimized facade using intelligent glass elements that during the day, the sun falls through the windows on so-called sun traps, their black stone floors. They warm up and act as short-lived heat accumulators. While the high natural heat insulation properties of the wooden walls act as long-lasting heat storage. Now the house doesn't have any heating or ventilation and its air quality and temperature are constantly monitored as part of a research project. Its indoor temperature in winter has never fallen below 18 degrees centigrade. This is the state-of-the-art Austrian film archive. It is home to 70,000 historical nitro film reels. Fumes from the film erode rebars and reinforced concrete, and therefore wood becomes the most suitable for construction. 
The archive requires no external source of electricity, and the constantly monitored temperature is at 3 degrees Celsius year-round since fluctuations are unacceptable. In the summer, the facade warms up to an average temperature of 20 degrees Celsius from the outside. Only a small solar-powered air conditioner is in use. To get that result, the building was modeled after a red ant forest ant hill. The larval hatching chamber at the center of the mound is exceptionally resistant to variations in outdoor temperatures. For this purpose, a research project was created using the best engine thermodynamic specialist from BMW. It turned out that wood has two completely unique thermodynamic properties. One kilogram of wood accumulates two and a half times as much heat as one kilogram of stone. And the time required to change its temperature is much longer than any other natural raw material. In 2012, Dr. Thomas' company built an energy-self-sufficient five-floor commercial building in Hamburg. It is the Arkneo in Oberndorf, Tirol. It is a 6,600-square-meter office complex in which the tenants' leases say they will not have to pay a penny for heating year-round. The whole complex built entirely from wood. No chemicals used at all. Its temperature is regulated by heat pumps that are powered by photovoltaic cells located on the roof.